guys I'm so sorry I'm holding my camera um, because my setup is not going to be usable at this time because I use natural sunlight and it's raining so I'm just going to go ahead and just hopefully not shake too much my camera and just hold it so basically today what I'm going to be talking about is some of the new products I've been trying um, since my big chop I, before that, I would just use the products that I knew worked for me. I didn't deviate. I didn't want to become a private uh, product junkie. I didn't care what new products were coming out. I was going to use what I was going to use. But since my big chop, I'm feeling a little bit more adventurous and I wanted to try different things to see, one, if I can add them to my holy grail list, or two, if it's so awesome good that I want to repurchase to actually replace it with something that's already on my holy grail list so i did try two products actually i'm trying a lot at this time but i did finish two products already that i wanted to share with you and give you guys a mini um review the first one is by honey honey's handmade and um i love um her stuff. I've purchased several items from her website and I love supporting um, independent um, independent business women. So um, I fell in love with a couple of other of her hair products and I purchased these myself and I want to try them. So this one has pumpkin and chocolate in the title. <laughs> I'll put it up here so you can see it. But anyway, it's a deep conditioner. I'm obsessed with deep conditioning my hair. I do it once a week. I never fail. I never miss the DC um, session. Um, so when I did use this, this is kind of a brown moussey consistency and it doesn't smell like pumpkin to me nor does it smell like chocolate. It smells kind of like coffee kind of. Um, it's a very unique scent. Um, it's not fruity. It's not floral. It actually is more of a medicinal scent. It, kind of smells like medicine so the reason why I was drawn to this deep conditioner because I love anything with pumpkin um, I have a video about me rinsing with pumpkin seed oil I love pumpkin and if you're a fine um, thin haired natural you want to make sure to try pumpkin oil or anything with pumpkin because pumpkin has a lot of vitamins and minerals that treat your scalp and help with the thinness that you may be experiencing. So I know a lot of gentlemen also use pumpkin if they are experiencing any type of quality. I'm not saying it's gonna cure it, but it does help um, alleviate it from getting worse, my personal experience. So when I saw this has pumpkin, I was like, this has my name written all over it. Now how, now how did it work for me? Well, the first thing I noticed is because of that moussey consistency, it really didn't have that much slip. And when you think about it, do you even care if a deep conditioner has slip? Not usually, not really, but I know with me, when I'm applying product, I just love the feel of product smoothing through my hair. And it kind of makes me, assist me with finger detangling while I'm putting the product in. So because it didn't really have much slip, I, I didn't like the application process of putting it in my hair because I just felt like I was putting big globs and then I had to really work it through from root to tip to make sure my full hair strands were coated. Another thing is that medicinal smell. I know I was in the shower using it and my fiance was like, what is that smell? Are you using bleach? It has that unique medicinal smell. It doesn't linger, so it doesn't stay in your hair all day, but it you notice it in there. And it wasn't, I'm a fruity person. I like smelling like a cupcake. I'm not even gonna lie. So that part did put me off a little bit. Now, how did it go in my hair? Um, to be honest, guys, it, I didn't really feel that it moisturized my hair that much. But what I did notice is that when I applied it to my scalp, that my scalp felt freaking awesome. The length of my hair, it was like, I couldn't tell it from any different other conditioner I usually use, like a cheapy conditioner. It didn't really do anything for the length of my hair, but for my scalp, any inner irritations I had, or if I felt like my hair was like looking super thin, it helped with volume. It kind of plumped my hair strands up at the root. So for that part, I love this stuff. So I, using this deep conditioner, it was the opposite. Instead of putting more of it at the 
tips of my hair, I piled that stuff on at my scalp and I really didn't use it on the rest of my hair to be honest. But would I, does it replace any of my holy grail list? No. Would I repurchase it? No, because it's a deep conditioner and I really wanted not only to use it for my scalp, but for all of my hair. So I love trying this product. It was awesome. My scalp loved it. But um, I'm going to try a different um, deep conditioner from her line, but I probably won't repurchase this one. Now the next one. I got from Target and on both of these products I will make sure I put in the description box below um, the, the size of the bottle and the cost and where I got it and also a link where you can purchase it if you're interested and I did buy both of these things myself out of with my own money but this is a leave-in conditioner it's called green tea um, super moist leave-in conditioner yes 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 I love this stuff it's very very thin but so freaky moisturizing it smells like chai tea it smells so freaking good it has incredible slip with thin hair even though I have low pressed hair which low pressed hair usually likes those shade butters those thick butters um, but sometimes when I use like a thick butter it weighs my hair down if I want a, a big fluffy wash and go I usually don't use my heavy butters but when I do this stuff is so light and it absorbs in my hair so well and it ladies when I say this stuff made my hair so freaking soft and so freaking moisturizes. Usually I moisture my hair every day, especially when I'm um, um, rocking a wash and go. With this stuff, I didn't have to. So, your question is, will I be repurchasing it? Yes, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing it. And it's definitely gonna be added to my Holy, Gro um, Holy Grail list. I don't have that many leave-in moisturizers that I use. I only use one right now, so it's not gonna replace that one, but it's so gonna be added to the rotation for when I wanna do something fluffy and not have any heavy butters weighing my hair down. Love this freaking stuff. I am so trying something else from the TGIN line to see how it works for my hair. So I hope you guys, let me put that down. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I definitely will be seeing you soon. Um, couple of days next week um, but before I go let me show you quickly what I'm wearing I'm wearing a Milani lipstick again I don't remember the color but I'll put it in the description box below and I got this and I got this crop top from misguided it's the um, bow crop top and I love it it kind of reminds me of something what Sailor Moon would wear do you did any of you guys watch that cartoon I loved it. I love anime. But anyway, so like I always say guys, be you, stay true, and be naturally seen.